So why can a galaxy be carried away faster than light without breaking Einstein's speed limit? In the Hubble ultra-deep field, some faint smudges are so far away that light they emit today will never reach us. Special relativity, the part of Einstein's theory that ignores gravity, says that in any small neighborhood of space and time, no object and no message can outrun a nearby light beam. That local rule is tested in laboratories and with precision clocks on fast aircraft. But a distant galaxy is not in the same local neighborhood. Gravity makes space-time, the combined system of space and time, curve and evolve, and the speed of a faraway thing depends on how you define distance across that curved space-time. The puzzle is deciding what is actually changing when the separation grows faster than light. Cosmic expansion is not galaxies blasting through pre-existing space. In general, relativity, the geometry of space-time, can stretch so galaxies can stay nearly at rest with respect to that stretching while the distance between them increases. Picture a long string of rulers laid between two galaxies, and then picture every ruler slowly getting longer. The endpoints hardly move locally, yet the total measured distance grows. Because the stretching happens everywhere, no galaxy sits at a special center, and every observer sees distant galaxies recede. And because electromagnetism and gravity combined matter, atoms, planets, 